We have details from this week's school committee meeting on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, September 8th, 2016. I'm Sarah Mannell. To start off the school committee meeting, the Enoch Cobb Early Learning Center gave an update on its integrated preschool program. Principal Nicole Cucci talked about how they will continue to improve the program. So over the years, the Barnesville Preschool Program has gone through many changes, um, including changes in location between elementary schools, staff changes, leadership changes, and general procedural changes. Um, and the result of that has been um, some program suffering in program culture, staff dynamics, and community partnerships. So over the past two years, we have been working with Mary Larravee, educational consultant, to really restore the program to its previous revered state. So we're here tonight to share some highlights from Mary's latest report on our program update. Mary was not able to be here tonight, so um, we're going to share this for her. Um, up on the screen is the program's new vision. So in order to get the program off on the right foot, we really felt like it was important to recreate the program's vision. Um, and one of the things I like to say is the good part of having a name as long as Enoch Cobb Early Learning Center is that you can really fit your school's vision into the acronym that is your school's name. So um, as we go through the presentation tonight, we're going to demonstrate that the staff is now truly living this new vision. And this vision was also a collaborative multi-step process. We really felt like it was important to have a vision that all the staff could truly believe in. And so we came up with this as our outcomes that matter to all. Um, so I'm first going to tell you a little bit about the um, program itself. Many of you already know that um, preschool is not mandatory for all students, but it is mandatory for students with special education needs. So although our primary purpose in the program is to serve students with special needs, we wanted to really create a new mission that recognizes the importance of a high quality early education for all students. And so we created this mission to really define exemplary early childhood education and recognize all of the students in our program. One of the first changes that we needed to make was in our programming. So we actually changed our program types and quantities to increase the capacity of the program to serve the community's special education population. And we also um, added some additional varieties of programs to really meet students' individual needs. So students now are attending a range of different programs. So some students are coming two half days, three half days, four half days, all the way up to five full days a week. Students with disabilities are placed in the program based on their level of need. So we consider how many um, education goals they have and how much time we really feel like they need to come to school to make effective progress on their goals. The peer models in our program come to school um, based on parent preference for schedule and availability of schedule. And all of our classes are now mixed age groups. So each student has children ages three, four, and five in the classroom, which is a, is a new change, and that's working out really well. The next slide um, shows our enrollment for this year. So this really breaks down the students enrolled by homeschool so that you can see that 
um, families from across Barnstable's seven villages are taking advantage of this program. So this year, we had a grand total of 163 students served in the program. 93 students on education plans and 70 peer models. You can learn more about the Enoch Cobb Early Learning Center Integrated Preschool by, visit by visiting the Barnstable Public Schools website. As part of the recently passed statewide opioid legislation, schools will be required to screen students for drug use or for those at risk of using drugs and alcohol. Barnstable Public Schools Nursing and Wellness Coordinator Pam Sibirowski talked about how the screening will be implemented here in Barnstable. Um, you had received some information about frequently asked questions, a screening tool. Um, we did send a parent letter out in August to all the seventh grade parents. This is going to be a screening that is going to happen the end of November, beginning of December for the seventh grade. So the law says that we have to screen one middle school grade and one high school grade. Um, so we're going to do the seventh grade this year and then the high school we're going to do ninth grade next year. The nurses are going to be doing the screening. So this screening, um, it's a series of four or five questions that the nurse will ask the student privately. Um, if the nurse has concerns about some of the responses, then there's other questions that she will proceed to ask and then can make a referral to a counselor within the building. It's also an opportunity for nursing to reinforce positive choices that the kids are making. So that's really important. Um, I do have some stats um, that I'll leave you. The YRBS um, that was done in 2015 for high school students and middle school students. Um, the last time Barnstable Public Schools did a substance survey was in 2011. And it was a pride survey. So I have copies of that also. Um, so again, the next plan is to, um, at BIS, we have um, an expert team of counselors, the principal, the nurses, um, that will meet and kind of um, plan the next steps. Um, we will be doing that again this year at the high school, creating a team and also doing some training for the high school counselors because they weren't trained last year. Um, as far as costs go, um, I have my essential school health services grant and it, I'm estimating it's gonna be about $2,500 um, for substitute nurses um, that I'm gonna need to come in to relieve nurses to do the screening. I estimate it's going to take about a week and a half tops to do the screening. It's going to be Monday through Friday all day long. Um, uh, some of the school districts in Massachusetts that have done this, they say between four and ten students are the ones that screen in that they actually have to make outside referrals to. And there's certainly a few re referrals to inside counselors and follow up with several other students. Sibirowski estimates the screening will cost the district about $2,500 and will take about a week to complete. Well, be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable This Morning, weekdays at 8 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will meet some great pets looking for forever homes. We'll find out what's in store for fall recreation programs. Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.